<laughs> I just hate that you're not bothered. Do you uh, well, know what I mean? Like, I get you saying unbothered makes people believe that you're not bothered, but I know you're bothered. <laughs> Deep down inside, in your little heart of hearts, your little black beating heart that says <laughs> Trump right on it is bothered. I don't think there's anything wrong with trans. I don't think there's anything wrong with a trans person, whatever. But I don't understand all the hubbub about the bathroom. I've had trans friends my entire adult life. And mm. the thing is, <clears throat> you do have to be patient with people and explain what it is. You know, if you're going to talk about it, if you're going to consider yourself like an advocate or any kind of voice in that community, then you do have to do a fair amount of education. And education can't just be yelling at people online. Yes. And it is, you have to, just as much as you want the other side to be patient with you, you have to be patient with them. That's 100% the way I feel. Yeah, you can't. My best friend was Freddie Soto, who passed away. Mm -hmm. And we worked at the comedy store day in and day out. 12 years, I was waiting tables at the store. Fucking 12 years went by. When did you stop? Waiting tables at the store. 2005. I started at 93 at mm -hmm. the store. So I guess like in the middle, uh, Mitzi would come in a lot, of course. But I would work open mic night and I would like the, the comics would just go sit in anywhere. The problem was, is I couldn't have Mitzi if she came in the showroom and she saw those people sitting there. I'd have to make them buy drinks. A lot of times she used to give the liquor away and then we hit real hard times. What was the hard the times part. about? Hard times in that just nobody was coming there. And to be honest, I, I, a lot of it had to do with not wanting to change at all. Yeah. Mitzi had her way. This is what it was. This is what it is. Her ego was being hurt.